I don't remember exactly when I started when I was a kid. I was very young. Um, mainly I had an older brother who drew. So that was sort of, as a kid, it wasn't ever anything. Like, drawing was always... Uh, it was something I did for fun. I did it in the margins of my homework and, and stuff like that. It was just, I would sit there and draw all the time. I really liked it, but it wasn't... I never thought of it as, like, this is a future job. Like, I never, ever had that thought in my head. It was always, like, this is something I like doing. I kind of fell into this lifestyle at a very young age. School wasn't for me. I have to say, and it's strange to say, but the greatest day of my life was when I got to drop out of school and do what I wanted to do. I drew pictures. I drew on leather jackets. I drew on jean jackets. I drew on bed sheets that people would hang up uh, as tapestries in their rooms. I sanded skateboards down with my dad's belt sander and drew all over them. I, uh, it hit me fairly young. I was in single digits when I felt like this was something that I wanted to do. My family was a lot of, you know, motorcycle riders and biker guys. And I grew up in a bad neighborhood, so everybody was pretty wild and tattooed up and just crazy people and I mean when I first seen the first tattoo being done I was a little bitty kid and I was fascinated and I was like oh, I want to do stuff like that so the minute I was able to start doing it I was I was doing it so I had to move twice and all that but I got an apprenticeship and, and the apprenticeship was pretty shitty uh, but I got through and got my license and, and there was just constant things that, that were put up in my way but it wasn't like these huge like to anybody i mean everybody has life problems it's not some huge you know fifty thousand obstacles were my way to become a tattooer but it wasn't super easy either when i wanted to start tattooing or when i got tattooed for instance you know i was a young kid so they gave me a bunch of crap i was going to be stuck in the ghetto and never have a job and I need to be like my cousins, and I need to go to college, and I need to do this, and I need to do that. Well, you know, I, I got a, a diploma, and I've been to college, and I've studied all that, but I still, tattooing was my gig. I knew it. Nobody was going to tell me nothing about it. And, you know, now the people that they wanted me to be like, you know, I ain't going to dog on them, but... You know, I followed my dream and and it saved my life. So now my family's praise me for sticking to my guns and not selling out. Well, this lifestyle, when you uh, choose to be in it, you're of course gonna get some negativity from people. It was. Especially when I started doing it, it was very looked down on. People want to judge you or your parenting skills by the way you look. People shaking their head, giving you dirty looks and all that. So you either confront them about it or you just got to let it go. But usually I say something about it. I'm sure my parents were kind of like, oh, this is not a, not a good plan. Uh, I was working in the cable industry. I didn't, you know, I didn't really have a direction in life, so I think they saw it as probably not a great idea, but it, it worked out. <laughs> Being from a broke-ass ghetto neighborhood, gangsters, drug dealers on every corner, I mean, there was, there was a murder in my neighborhood every week. Just being able to, you know, like, even the gangsters, like, the, the killers, you know, guys in the neighborhood that were terrible. They wanted to come and sit in my chair and get a tattoo. We had mutual respect and, you know what I mean? So I was friends with everyone. Tattoo culture, it has quite changed since I started doing it. it uh, back when I started doing it, it, it really, it was respected by the people that did it and the people that had them. Whereas, uh, it's a, uh, it just seems like it, it's everywhere now. Shoot, man. I've been tattooing since early 80s. So a lot of it was soldiers and gangsters and, you know, prisoners. Pretty cool. You getting that for the team? And now, shoot, man. 
everybody has a tattoo, you know, everybody. It's just evolving so rapidly. It's not so much the culture itself is changing, but it's just because of Instagram, because of social media, the styles and the quality and the, just what you see on a daily basis has, has exploded. There's artists out there who are doing one thing and they get insta-famous. A lot of old head tattooers really hate that. And a lot of people doesn't have it. I mean, we're all trying to pay the rent. People think because you're tattooed, like back in the day, I was sleeved out when I was 19 years old. So I'd go to the mall and people would pick their children up and hold them away from me. Like, you know, switch their kid to the other side, like, oh my God, this guy's a gangster, he's a killer or whatever, you know, but shit, now everybody's so heavily tattooed, you know. My doctor's tattooed. I can't help but reminisce on how it used to not be so sought after. It used to, it was somewhat of an underground society type of a thing. And now it's, you go to a bar or a club or a concert and the rarity is finding somebody with no tattoos. So I'm not, I don't really know where, I'm, I'm halfway on the fence of whether it's, whether it's exciting where it's going or starting to become scary where it's going. Tattooing is a niche industry it's becoming less so, but it's always been very niche until very recently. Um, so it attracts it attracts a lot of people that are, you know, not uh, not having as good a time in, in traditional uh, employment. It's like it's easier to make a living as an artist than people will tell you it is. They'll they'll act like it's impossible to do, but it is possible. But it, it's hard. It's it in reality it's hard, and culturally you're discouraged from trying, even if it like. To be an artist, you have to be so hard on yourself. You, you know, like you can't ever be satisfied with it. Other people will tell you how awesome it is, and in your head, you're just like, well, I'm glad you feel that way because I think it sucks. But that's that's being an artist. That's if you're not thinking that way, then you're probably fucking up. As far as the question, are you an artist? I mean, I would consider myself to be, but almost everyone is. I think it's the sh the better answer. I always tell people because they always say I'm not an artist. I couldn't do that. If you like art at all you are because it's just part of your brain that responds to art but we're the kids that never put down our crayons when we were three it's just practice like that's what makes people see artists as like these different types of human beings and yeah we're weird and it's gonna be kind of crazy but that's just i guess the only people on the planet that aren't artists are the the 0.01 percent that just literally get nothing from any art but otherwise i would consider everybody to be an artist if they like art they just haven't done any practice. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Can't stop me now.